hello and uh, welcome to another one and yes we are still at Ellen Valley um, we're all here you can see up there you've got Mark Owen Trevor and Nigel and Denise Mrs C's around the corner just there uh, we're here for sunset this evening and uh, also we're going to be stopping around for a Milky Way shop and we're hoping that the Milky Way is going to be dropping straight down over the top of that uh, at some time around 12 o'clock-ish. Uh, we're going to run down, back down the bottom of the reservoirs to try and do a 10 o'clock one over the top of the other one further down. But that's the plan for this evening. Uh, the sun's going down really nice. It's been a lovely evening. We've been chilling out for the last couple of hours, having tea, talking and walking around, just having a look. Um, I've had the drone out and as you can see, Owen's just lifted off just about there. So he's going to get his up and have a bit of epic sunset. Um, but that's basically what we're doing. We're waiting for the sunset. I've been here before. I've been here several times. I've taken lots of images. I've taken a couple of drone shots, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, really quite nice from the other side. But you've got to watch these birds flying around because they seriously don't like them. Um, so I thought I'd try and find something a little bit different. And um, I've gone extreme. I've gone a little bit extreme on this. I've got this wall. Pretty much what you can see there now. I've got this wall coming down from both sides pulling you in from the top left and the bottom left hand side of the frame, leading you out to the tower on the thirds and you've got the sun setting down over on the right hand side of the frame. Vertical composition, it's quite nice actually, I, I do actually quite like it. Um, I've got the six stop grad in, no I haven't, I've got the six stop ND filter in which is slowing the shutter down which is giving me a F11, it's giving me about five seconds at the moment um, but I am bracketing, I'm doing a five bracket shot so I've got a, I'm going a stop over, at least a stop over and at least a stop under. Um, just to make sure I've got all the information in the image um, and that's pretty much all I'm doing I'm just going to sit and watch this I don't think I'm going to change the composition much if I do I'm just literally going to go across the bank a little bit as long as I don't get in front of their you know their shots um, or even down lower there's some steps here I may even go down on those few steps and just try and do something a little bit different um, that's all really I've got my sandals on as you can see there done in the sandals so I can't really do much otherwise I'm going to slip on my ass and my feet will fall out but yeah beautiful beautiful little shot lovely colour tones on the rocks with the warm sun and uh, yeah just a just generally nice photograph some lovely definition in the clouds as well so all in all quite a pretty shot um, oh and I've also got sorry I should have mentioned it, I've also got a 0.6 hard ND grad toning the, toning the top of the image down really really quite a nice little shot so i'm going to just take that again just in case the let's put it on again let's put my two second timer on and i'm just going to hit the button just to make sure i get as the sun sets lower and lower what i'm going to do is i'm going to wind it up a little bit as well i'm going to try and do a sun star um, if i don't do it here i might as it clips the horizon if i don't then i'm going to run around the other side i've done one in the past and i'll show you that image now up there um, but yeah i might try and do another little sun star image and see how that turns out but yeah, that's what we're doing this evening. I'm going to try and vlog tonight. It's going to be dark, but I'm going to try and try and take you with me. It's uh, I've not done it before, have I? So yeah, let's take you with us in the dark and see if we can get a couple of uh, night shots, stars, and uh, a bit of galaxy or Milky Way, whatever you call it. Can you believe it? Cheeky bugger Mark has just told me to move. Who does he think he's talking to, eh? <laughs> I was in his shot, I had to move. It's not fair, is it? He was here before me. Um, just done an epic selfie, cracking, really nice. Um, we're now just basically waiting for the sun to go down, but it's probably gonna go behind a bank of clouds, looking at that over there. Um, been joined by another photographer. He's obviously down for the same sort of thing as we are. And uh, yeah, it's just a quite a nice evening. Um, I've moved back a little bit. Like I said, I was in Mark's frame, so I uh, had to move back. Um, we've got the reflection, which is really nice in the water. I've got a six stop soft ND grad on now, toning the sky down a little bit. I'm still bracketing the shot because that's the way to get all the dynamic range in, really. Um, I think I've got a Sunstar, I'm not sure. It, it sort of almost worked, um, but it's not gonna clip the hillside now. It's definitely going behind a bank of clouds because the clouds are definitely getting thicker. 
Um, we're now horizontal, as you can see, and we're shooting the same image, just running all the way down the side of the wall, which is uh, full of detail and texture, so it looks quite nice. Yeah, simple. Simple, simple images. Nothing clever, nothing dangerous, and uh, nothing anyone can't take. So, right, I'll take this one, wait for the sun to go down a little bit lower, see if we get any colours in the sky, take a couple more, and then we'll probably see you when it's dark. Try something different. Um, brought the tripod round and stuck it way up in the air, looking at the view down that way um, to see if I can get something happening there. Because the light's gone down or the sun's gone down behind the clouds, it sort of snubbed out the colours a little bit. Um, I've got a nine-stop hard ND grad in to try and pull the sky back in. It's difficult. Again, dynamic range is superbly massive. That was the wrong word I meant to use. Tragic. Um, really really bright sky and dark foreground so there's not a lot I can do so I've done a five shot bracket just to see if it work um, I'm just sort of playing really with ideas they're all still around that side waiting for something to happen and if it does I'll just run back around there um, but I'm gonna try and maybe lead in using using the, the wall actually get on the top and shoot down it that might be different or even climb up on the top let's do that let's climb up on the wall and let's shoot really high. Let's see if I can get that done. That's good. Yeah, that'll, go, that's, that'll work. That's different. Back in a bit. Please do not tell my wife I'm up on this wall because there's a bleeding drop down there. But I've got a cracking leading line from this. Look at that. Uh, yeah, it's almost quite different. It's quite nice. Sun's dipped even more now. Um, I've just fired off a five bracket shot which is one over and one under. I'm going to do another two second timer because the tripod's wiggling. As you can see here um, I've got the tripod just on the edge of the wall. The wall's only about a foot wide so it's not really stable so it's a bit a bit rockety especially with these rubber feet on. Um, but yeah there's a nice bit of colour in the water and there's a lovely little bit of definition in the sky. Um, we just need that colour now really. Uh, Post-processing might bring it out, but we never know. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, got to get exciting, and it's got to get exciting climbing on these walls. But I've seen this with the water coming down, and that is something else. It really is fantastic watching the water come over the top. It would make a brilliant video, and I think you can get down the side here as well, which would be pretty awesome. Get up close to it. All right, I don't really know what else to do now until till dark and the Milky Way. The sun's just dipping now, it's just on the top of the hill and there's a little bit of light, so let's just take another one. We might get a little bit of a sun star from the light. Just a touch. And as if by magic, my battery goes on the Fuji, which is great because it's like six and a half foot in the air. So now I'm gonna try and change my battery very, very quick, just in case that sun pops out, which it's doing, which it's doing.
morning and uh, no Astro I'm sorry I'm afraid uh, yeah we did have a look last night clouds came over the top of the reservoir and uh, yeah no show really We've got a few stars but definitely no Milky Way that was for sure so we had a bit of an early night uh, made some plans for this morning for sunrise I think we all got a little bit more sleep didn't we they're all saying they're all saying I'm not sure maybe 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 <laughs> um, Owen's with us as well I think Owen's on the next level down which is possibly slightly better than the level we're on but I'm not sure if you can see yeah you can just about we're parked down there we've come across the reservoir climbed up this bank um, to get a view for this morning so we'll finish this vlog instead of with some astro we'll finish it with this morning sunrise um, dependent on what we get anyway we'll, we'll get an image you know me I'll take an image no matter what happens because um, I'm awake this morning I didn't have any coffee yet so you have to excuse the way I'm talking I'm still half asleep um, but we've got leading lines and some interest down this way you've got this nice fence taking you down through the sun's going to rise over the back of that hill there and you've got the top of the lake or the reservoir leading you down to there's a little island which you can't see at the moment because of the reflection but it's a nice little island over there in the middle um, or we've got the view this way Again, fantastic leading line, leading you all the way down. You've got a pathway that takes you around to the edge of the reservoir, back across the reservoir and all the trees. There's a nice little clump of trees over in the distance as well to set your eye on. But that's going to get the light after this is, I would have thought, unless it comes around the back of the hills, which would be absolutely amazing. So that's the plan for this morning. I'm just going to chill out now and wait for the sun to come up, uh, try and sort out a composition, get the camera set up, and uh, yeah, just catch my breath. Been talking views with Owen. Owen's come back up now. He stopped on the level below and he's got a couple of shots down there already. Uh, we're not going to get the same sort of mornings we had yesterday, um, which you would have seen probably last week with me running around like a headless chicken. Um, but I've got the composition set up. Uh, we're in vertical. I've come up close to this fence, so I've got a nice leading line right in the bottom left hand corner, very tight, so it takes you right the way through the image. And from here, you get a zigzag. Uh, that you can see the little pathway leading you all the way down or you see the fence uh, the handrail leading you all the way down um, i'm going to try the same composition um, horizontally because i like to have the wider image you seem to see more than you do in a vertical image when you put them on the screen um, so i'm going to try that but i don't know where it's going to work but at the moment I've, all i've done is i've taken a shot underexposed and a shot overexposed one so i can bring the sky in and one so i can bring the foreground in just to save messing around with filters um, yeah, we're just waiting. The other three have gone up. They've gone up the top there to play with that tree. Um, there's an open view up there. But I like the lines. I think I'm liking the lines leading you in. Um, this direction, I've got one set up in my head, um, ignoring the fence and trying to just do an open shot leading you right down. Um, I might actually go and do that in a minute because there's a nice little bright patch in the middle of the in the middle of the lake. Look, just there, you can see it there. So I might go and do that in a moment. So anyway, enough waffling, I'll uh, get back to you when I start taking some photos. Still no light, still nothing um, happening in the sky this morning. Uh, the sun's, I don't know if it's up yet or not, or it's just about to come up. I think it's within that time where it's on the horizon, but it's obviously it's not, not going to get to us now until it clears these hills. Um, but this is where I finally ended up for my composition. I just like this. This is Ellen Valley. This is the dam. It's nice looking down the reservoir. Um, I've come down a little bit lower now, but it's nice, come, nice looking down to the island. Um, and down looking down the water but this this is what you come for really um, them clump of trees over there are fantastic they really do pinpoint your eye um, two different compositions though as you can see here Owen's got his tripod here um, we're both shooting Fuji's and uh, there's my tripod there they're only four or five foot <clears throat> between each other 
um, but the images are slightly different and it makes it does make a difference um, so this is one of those re you know you can come out and shoot with other people you're still going to get your own image I picked mine because I liked the little steps going down so you've got your steps leading you down from this corner and leading you all the way down through the image Owen on the other hand slightly further over because obviously I was over there but he's actually got this hedgerow or the thought you know the the bracken leading you down and that's quite nice as well it gives you more texture in the bottom of the image so yeah two different images both are over nice so I'm gonna borrow, borrow Owens off of him and when he's finished playing with it you've probably already seen that anyway because that had been on weeks ago before I process his video um, but yeah really nice little image and uh, yeah I'll bob a couple of, I'm gonna try and get one of everybody's anyway if I can as I normally do so this is it this is what I'm gonna set up now leave it here till we get some light down in that valley and uh, just fingers crossed something nice-ish happens it's a nice view anyway, so why not take it? Well, Look at this for a get up. Uh, the midges have gone absolutely berserk. I think they've just realized that there's three or four chaps up here all ready to be eaten. And uh, yeah, not much fun to be honest. Just wanted to bring you down here to show you this composition. And uh, yeah, it's a cracking, cracking little composition. Um, the reason I come down here, I saw Mark standing down here shooting across the top this way. So I thought, let's go just have a walk down, just have a look and see what it looks like. And this is definitely the one for the morning. Um, the light didn't happen. We didn't get any cracking light, but it's a nice view anyway. We've had the drone up. Me and Owen's had a bit of a play with the drones. So you've seen some footage, I'm sure, already. But this is the composition. Look at this down here. You've got these lovely, rustic crusty-looking boulders. Really, really nice. Foreground interest. And you've got a piece of the reservoir. Then you've got your eye finishes right over there in the distance with the um, little island and the... Um, trees sitting out there but really really nice little image so it's just layers that goes right through the image i've got to do a little bit of clone work um help i've got to do a bit of clone work because we've got the bus and that down there so we've got to take them out um but yeah i'm not going to stand here much longer because i am actually getting shredded absolutely shredded so uh yeah that's the composition f11 bracketed the shot i'm going to grab the camera now and run Get out the way of them. Oh, and my aperture's playing up on this, isn't it? You can't see me, but I'm climb back up the top here and then uh, get myself ready because these guys want some breakfast. My tripod's all of a diver. I'm all of a diver. Right, that's it. So, yeah, um, we're going to head back down. I'm going to go and get some breakfast. So, I'm going to call it quits on this one. We're going to go and wake Mrs. C up because she is all the way over there somewhere in the van. So yeah, from those guys down there, so we all say goodbye. Bye. They're going to say ciao, ciao, ciao. And I'm going to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I know it's been a bit of a random, weird video with last night and yesterday and not doing the Astro. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's been uh, content you like. Let's start again. Hopefully it's been content you like watching. Um, plenty more coming. And I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow or later on this evening. We've got another couple of days off of work. So let's see where we end up. Watch that next time. Ciao.